Okay, ready, I think. Uh, yeah. Hello, Floormore. Welcome, as usual. Now, um, if you have any questions about the uh, mods themselves, which ones I use, or stuff like that, then uh, let me know. I can't remember all of them, mind, but uh, I do have a li list somewhere. So at the moment, the quest that we're doing is to bring the Forge Master's fingers to Burguk. Um, probably won't do that, like... Right away, but, um... Yeah. We shall just see. Oh, and if this crashes, which it might do, because there's a part in, like, I think it's at the very end, somewhere, um, where there is actually a memory link, memory leak, I will just start it again. So... I think I've been through this. Now, one of the things... Um, pretty, pretty soon, I'm going to replace Gizargo with Inigo because he's um, somewhat annoying. He keeps on bashing into me and... Nah default. Like the default to do. Actually, been here already. Okay. Well, wow. must have come here before, and um, forgot to get the gloves. Nice, nice bit of coffee. And the sound is okay, right? Okay, so where is it? Must be up here somewhere. Now I am lost. Okay, I got it, I got it. Um. I 
I'm going to change, I think I'm going to change the ENB that I use because this depth of field thing and the brightness just can't alter it easily. Um, currently lost. Um, what? That makes no sense. I don't think we have to worry about... Um, any kind of enemies, because I must have been here before. <laughs> me on about the um, unintelligence of the followers <laughs> and then it's smack right into them But what I'm going to do in this playthrough is just basically wander around and then picking up like random quests and stuff like that and continue doing them. Um, it's not really going to be anything special. Map marker is rubbish quite often. Okay, I I can't be asked. Um so now let's see. Must have gotten it. Okay. Living with an entire new inside can sometimes be difficult when things block it. So I am going down to be sharp, like the editors. The messed up thing is I don't actually remember getting these um, Forge Master gloves. I remember going through the um through the caves, but have it. So let's see if we can um go to the Shnikyal. And then uh, it'll be good with the orcs there. Okay, so here we go.
Let me see. I don't believe it. You found the Forge Master's fingers. You've been pressing me out, No one else has returned from this task before. By the Code of Malaga, I name you blood kin to the Orbs. Let it be known among the strongholds that you are family now. Woohoo, that means that we can speak to them now. I don't believe it. You found the Forge Master's fingers. You've been pressing me out, No one else has returned from this task before. By the code of Malaga, I name you Let's go through this again. Let it be known among the strongholds that you are family now. <clears throat> I'm honored. Feel free to trade with our smiths for orc weapons and armor. Agree with my warriors, or purchase voices from the wise woman. Welcome to our stronghold, Bloodkin. Hoo <laughs> Bloodkin to the orcs. <laughs> Where did that wolf come from? I am Orgo's favorite wife. He knows my beauty should be praised. Any other strong... Any other... Any other strongholds out there? There are a few great strongholds worthy to talk about. More Casgur. Nazarbur, and Lagersburg. Okay. Well. Fair enough. Hello, ghost. Hale and well met indeed. And as Flormore said, Skyrim is going on. Just doing a little bit of casualness. So how are you doing? I help my mother Ara with the hunt. We bring much meat and skins to the stronghold. Okay. Um... Now let's let's see. I don't know what other quests. Um, maybe some new quests. Maybe some old quests. Victor the Oh no, I don't want to do that. Um, that means we have to go to Markarth, and I really don't want to go there right now. Identify Riften Skuma Dealer. Well, we can go there when getting Inigo. Uh, the museum in Dawnstar. That would also trigger the Dawn Guard quest. Not quite ready for that. Going to Stormcloak. Nah, nah. Um, I found this stream that I can understand. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Skyrim, even after, what is it, 12 years now, it's still one of the greatest games of all time. And, of course, I've got a lot of mods on there, like new quest mods that come out. Um, well, some are quite old, but I've never played them, so this is... Figured, why not? Just have a relaxing Sunday stream. Kind of like a catharsis, um, purification. And whoever wants to come in, can come in and just watch the gameplay, and also watch me mess up on occasion. But yeah, welcome. Let's so hang out for as long as you like. Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to determine where to go next. That's it, because I don't want to do like too much in the way of the main quests. Um, Go to the Dragonborn that's in Solstheim. I don't want to go there yet. No. Diplomatic. That's that's the problem many times, especially on um, D Live and Twitch and other ones. They tend to be in languages that we can't speak. Um, and unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Diplomatic immunity must be one of the worst quests in Skyrim. I I just cannot stand this particular one. So I'm going to do that like whenever. 
Exactly. And you know, for especially for the Skyrim, I primarily stream it for me. And um <clears throat> well, in the mate floor more as well, because he likes to watch the watch me mess up often. But I mean, you know, others are welcome. Get to kill some Thalmus, so that's very true. And of course, he is a badass mage, but even with that, if there's like about three or four um, Thalmors all surrounding, no chance. So where's Falpharth? Uh, nope, not it. Ages. Jeez, I can't even remember where half of this is. Let's go, Barrow. Oh God, where well, right? Each cliff cave, cliff I didn't. I am. Um, Going to um, I'm gonna go to the Elysium Estate right now. <laughs> that is very true. You have a very high sneak just right under their noses. Unfortunately, this one is uh, a destruction mage. So, not really good at sneaking. I did actually try that and uh, almost got away with it and then suddenly um, I accidentally knocked something off, not, not really paying much attention. I knocked a pot off somewhere and of course they all heard it. And then, wallop. But I think in one of them, there's one one of the playthroughs I have never actually completed is um I've not ever completed the Thieves Guild. Gone through the um you know the main quest line, defeated Alduin. I've gone through the mages quest line. Um the Dark Brotherhood as well, but never the thief. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get it where um, this particular character is like elemental only. Even though I've got a lot of conjuration spells and that, I want to kind of try to avoid that until a bit later in the game so he can be like um, a destruction. Uh, conjure, conjurer, conjurer, yeah. I gotta turn that depth of field off somewhere. Um, if you have time, I'd like to visit my house. So, where are we going? We're going down here. Put a few things up in the uh, down on display. Oh, and um, the other one I've played through quite extensively is the one of the greatest mods ever created is the Legacy of the Dragonborn. Okay, Royal Shield, and got that. Got any of that yet? Uh, Nordic dagger. Nope, nope, nope. None of this. Uh, 
That's interesting. I thought I. Had... There's a sacred tree right here. Can we go see the sacred tree? Hmm. I thought I had picked up an ebony dagger. Hmm. Oh well. Um. The masks here. Here's the mask of the clavicle. Clavicle vial. Must be fox. I haven't got any of these. Okay. Day drink. There it is. It should be. There. That's the one. Yes. Yes, indeed, and uh, you know, if you're a good, if you're a big conjurer, I'll show you the spells that I've got. These, these are um, some of the conjuring spells that I do have. Something like uh, Death Guard, and um, by the way, yes, Flormore, it's called the Demented Elytra Nymph. It's part of the um, Seductions and Thingy as. Seductions and um, thingy. There's, there's like a DLC for that. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's too bad. I'm not sure if it's my end, but take care, ghost, and thank you for coming in. I will have a look at that for the future to see if it is my end. That's really uh, going to be an issue. A bit of sacrifice. Savior's hide, Mace of. Oh, it, it, it may be, but still look into it just in case. Because <clears throat> I do have it on a, a much higher. <clears throat> Well, I do much. I I do have it on a much higher um, speed than normal than I normally do because I tweak some of the settings. So these kinds of things are still good to know, and then you can sort of tweak them further. So I'm gonna put these in. I don't know why I'm collecting all of these. Free up some room. Mm. And of course, I inherited a horse. This horse was just there. I can't remember where I got it, but hello. Thing is, that horse is a little bit skittish, and there's some. Uh, whenever there is some battle, he runs away. <clears throat> okay, so where shall we go now? Maybe just. I don't know. Wonder. Westwood? Yeah, maybe wander westward and then see what we can come up with. As I said, this is just like a casual playthrough. I'm not going to do any serious quests at the moment. But uh, see where the road takes us, huh? And then once again, 
have some new animal mods because Skyrim's fauna is sadly lacking, and this is one of them. That is really cool. I tell you what, if I could create models like that. would be absolutely sorted. And there's some giraffes, of course. Dragon, then. And it was. Oh, go on. these cultists now. The cultists are after. Uh, scroll of courage. I ain't gonna bother about those. Maybe these minions. Something that uh, there's there's also another mod that I thought was quite interesting. It gives every NPC a name because it used to be like uh, just vampire cultist or some, something like that. But I think it's more realistic if you add names to characters. So every bandit, every cultist, every NPC, they all have names now. Rhinoceros, armadillo, giraffes, giant acarpies, foxes, squirrels. Love this mod. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Just wandering around now. Ori, leave the animals alone. God's sake. Ori, come on. Time to die. Leave the animals alone. Oh, and this one has um, sheep as well. It has uh, different flavored wo wolves, different flavored bear. Weird shaped horns. Really cool. Okay, here we go. Shit. Ori! Where are you? This is where it probably will crash. Hey! 
Where should it all go? about badassery, right? I bet you didn't, I bet you didn't think I could uh, defeat them, right? Go oh, and be honest. And they had a, a level 65, was it? Like that. So I pulled something out of the out of the hat like that. <laughs> That's been done. I mean, an eminent archery. Oh, I'll take that. Where did he come from? Enemy health is obscured by the banner at the top of the screen. That's all right. That's a little bit of surprise, isn't it? So it's sort of like, you know, you can't tell, but I can. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to do that. Uh, to unlock that chest. 
There's got to be a key somewhere. Besides, you know, you sort of like, uh, I can just see when those two, um, those two bone skeletons were at it. I can just see you on the edge of the see. Oh my god, high level. Oh, he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. And then the health dwindled. And then I healed. Pulled that, that hat trick. What was it? The uh, Frost of Woe or something like that. Rella's Cottage. Well, I don't know if I've um, been here before. I'm curious. Um, okay, I'm gonna see about this depth of field and turn it off because I do not care for it. Keep that, but like way down, turn it off. Maybe that'll make some difference. Right. Oh, hello. Ah, guest, please sit down. Rest your weary feet. Hmm. Excellent. Have a seat. Hmm. I'm gonna trust this dude. I've been, been expecting you. you. Not all knows to least the dragon tongue, are you not? You make quite a name for yourself across Skyrim. Some say you even roar like a dragon. Breathe fire like a dragon. Yes. I can see the fire is not on your breath, but, but in your eyes, it's that fire that allows you to hunt those who hunt the day. That is all any of us want. One more day. Hmm, I... <clears throat> you seem to know a lot about me. I apologize, I have you at a disadvantage. It seems that I know everything about you, and you nothing of me. You should be used to it by now. Your footprints are like craters, altering the very landscape of Skyrim. Are you... do you own the cottage? It would seem so, would it not? This cottage is owned by a dungeon named Drellis. I am by all appearances he. Of course, names are such tenuous things, and faces even more so. Who's to say I am Drellis? The plates, the chairs, the books, the tables, none of these are bound to a specific person. The bed is owned by the one who sleeps in it. The enchanting table is subject to the whim of the grafter. Uh... <clears throat> Hmm, you're saying that ownership is temporary or meaningless? The items in this cottage are helpless to choose their master. They are slaves to whoever has the power to use them. Among strangers, names are no different. They are a piece of clothing. They can be worn, borrowed, and in some cases, seized. In my life, I have borrowed many names, 
and have taken down his others. The Ashland is in the hands now. The Argonians called me Nels the Ross, and that became Nels. Some thought I was a Dramora, and perhaps the name Dramas is a conflation of both. Hmm. Hmm. So Nels of Loss, Remora. So people fear you. Why are you telling me this? One, One of my clients, Gerard, prefers to change faces to use cunning to compensate what he lacks in strength. It is a wise strategy, but a different kind of power than the one I choose to exercise. The Radiant Dark does not value one member of another. Yes, when power is flaunted, people will condemn you. Gerald sees this as a burden. I see it as an opportunity to test our strength. For what is the point of having power if it is not applied? When I craft a sharper sword, but not to make war. So tell me about the Radiant Dark. I might not be interested in it, but I might be. To understand the objective of our guild, you must first understand the principles of light and dark magic itself. The old mages believed that magic was a fundamental force in our world, one whose energies could reflect brightly or darkly. Yet a spell by itself has no alignment. Flames warm as easily as they burn. Intent is the determining factor. Now, consider the crafting of a new spell. Do the same rules apply? Should we condemn those who search magic based on their intent? Should a breakthrough restoration research be suspended if the mage intends to use it for torture? <clears throat> okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. I am going to, uh... See if, um... I can't... I can't quite move that along because it's locked, but... I'd mentioned before, so maybe if I put it up here instead. Anyway, so in other words, end justifies the means. Darkness may rule the day, but tomorrow, such a sound could have thousands of sick and wounded. Good or evil, light or dark, and the only concerns itself with the immediate. And such consequences are as fleeting as tears in the rain. The radiant dark does not care about intent. It is a gear founded on the principle of advancement, progress, power. I'd be interested, yeah, no problem. I'd be interested in the progress, but not necessarily the power. I mean, I don't want to become like a, an all-powerful mage, but... Just a badass one, really. Uh, you accept dark mages into your guild, sounds like confused and good, then you won't. So you accept dark mages into your guild. If they should your promise, most certainly. There are plenty of magical discoveries in history that have come from dark mages. Spells are different than beds, cottages, or chairs. They may be owned by those with dark intent, but who's to say how the next one will use them? There is no finer example of their own existence striving war. The dragon shaft was meant to bind mortals into slavery. Now it is the very weapon that sends the dragons to extinction. Would the world have been better off if dragons never spoke? Maybe. Mm. Yes, you can see how looking for such a proposition would be. 
You can, you can almost stop the main from conducting research and then a dragon from using its voice. This, um, it's got a point. This is, this is the interesting NPCs, I believe. And half of the ones I still haven't, um, you know, I still haven't found, but this is, this is a new one on me. What sort of magic is your guild after? Powerful relics, spells, and sorcery from time before and time to come. In fact, my acolytes are on the verge of a significant breakthrough that may speed our objectives along. Such magic does not belong inside the dusty catacombs of a library. No more than vintage wine lords locked in cellar. Spells are meant to be cast, and wine is meant to be tasted. Wow. Where did you get your training? There are many places where I have studied, but not as a student. The Arcane University and Seattle for one. And before that, Del Bradora in the Vivid City. Before we had not claimed it. Which dates me, I'm afraid. There is quite a large generation gap between the Dunn, who know Morrow in the and not its ash. Wow, he's like, um, old, old? So it's been some time since the mount the Red Mountain erupted. Few of us remain who remember exotic palaces of color and twisted vegetation. Recall the land warmed by the sun, and not burned by the fire. Yes, I digress. The point that I am trying to make is that while my education was formal, while the students labored in the wizard's tower, listening to lectures on the dangers of destruction magic, I was testing its limits. The mage law was desperate to harness my potential, as well as that of a visiting student from Sirito. His name was Breno, but he was my only peer and a good friend. Uh, friendly rivalry is good for developing talent or competition. Probably friendly rivalry. It would have been. Brennan could, could be convinced of such a thing. He chose to study, study with the other novices. He said it was because he didn't want special treatment. Sometimes I wonder if he was worried about a friendship, given how competitive I was. Either way. It was a tremendous waste of potential, but an important lesson. Power could change one's fate, but only if you were willing to exert it. Uh, the, fir the first one <clears throat> would be kind of like more of that arrogant, I seek power type, but the other one was Sort of more of the humble approach. I'm gonna go for the humble approach. Friend was wise. No shortcuts to greatness. Because if you seek power, and you have the absolute power too quickly, then it can corrupt you equally as quickly. So you have to kind of like literally start from the beginning and then learn everything you can about it to gain that amount of power. But you always recognize where that power comes from in the first place. Saying, you know, remember your roots? Such aphorisms are lessons designed for the average mage. One who must learn the fundamentals of magic in slow, painstaking steps. However, with every rule, there are exceptions. Mages with the magic are fortitude to be exceptional. It is not the form of education is fraud. Its pace is too deliberate. Like a caged animal, it will only grow as large as its surroundings plow. That's uh, very true. Okay, so you mentioned Telbranora. It was just east of Vic City, on the southern coast of Hollywood. I, 
I don't really sort of like want to piss him off or anything, so I mean, basically. Uh, this kind of thing is, is um, <coughs> predominant in uh, in Sturge Pass, so it was part of the House Telvani. Yes, the, the great, great House Telvani. No their ambition, their magic, and their slaves. Not always, of course, in that order. It was also a house full of iconoclasts. Of both, both the beautiful, beautiful and the damned, the elegant and the vain. For me, it was a perfect fit. Is what um, would be deemed, I think, well, so far from what the information he's given is a fence walker. Because he, um, fence walkers, they walk that fine line between light and dark. They, are, they belong to neither, but they can utilize one or both. But in the meantime, he's sort of just forging from straight down the middle. Oh, you seem to have fond memories of those days, huh? I still remember the day I stood at the bridge to tell the Nora. The rest of the banners, the coastal breeze, the towers coiled around seas of rock, the gate set like a wooden eye on a monstrous squid. All of it like a painting drawn on the surface. It was to be my tower, my coastal retreat at the edge of the world. Most of the angels on the coast would have turned away with such as I, for fear of the ambition. The Lord of Telbrinora, however, has always been an unconventional wizard. How was he unconventional? It mattered not if you were a usurper. A Khajiit, or an Argonian, or a member of the very mages who Telvani despised. In fact, whatever criteria the mage lord did use seemed to make little sense at all. Hmm. Your association with House Telvani explains why Argonians dislike you, because uh, basically the uh, they became the enslaved ones and were used for all kinds of menial tasks and often abused. Not quite. It's true that the slavers, the name has Telvani, brought no shortage of vitriol from my scaly bird. I earned my name. In my time in my marsh, long after the Argonians invaded Morum, I laid waste to my former house. So how did you earn the name Nels of Loss? No, I was looking to craft a better magic of perfume, and there are many unique species in swamps that have yet to be studied by alchemists. Whenever someone asks me about my opinion on the Thalmor, I tell them of a parasitic wasp species <laughs> I found off the Black Rose. What made this particular wasp so intriguing? The wasp would Sting a caterpillar to paralyze it, and then proceed to inject its young into its body. The larvae would gain sustenance by eating their way out of the caterpillar. However, the most remarkable part came when they exited its flesh. The mother wasp's venom was such that the caterpillar would defend the larvae from predators as if they were its children. The caterpillar, you see, is like the empire, fighting to protect the very thalmor that eat it from the inside. That's... that's deep. But it makes perfect sense. I wonder if, um, The Elder Scrolls VI, when it comes out, I'll probably be about 60 when it comes out. I'll probably be about 59, be able to pay, pay it for about a year, but I wonder if that's going to focus more on the Thalmor side of it. It's all speculation, of course. So, 
I sh would say the Thalmora indeed a bunch of parasitic bugs, but... I'll go for this. The wasp, I imagine, its venom contained interesting alchemical properties. Oh, fuck. thing I don't like is if you don't sort of like move the cursor around and you wait too much to consider the answer that may sort of um just um think you're not interested in talking to them anymore. <laughs> when did you train at the Arcane University? After the eruption I wandered around Tamlia for decades and studied briefly with the master sorcerers of Assassin's Isle. There I researched much about the nature of magic. The energies of light and dark, and so to continue my studies in Cyrodiil. Um, incidentally, there are a couple of mods that will go to, uh, well, there's one mod that will go to Somerset Isle. You can meet the Sijic, I believe. And there is a, uh, another couple of, like, mage mods. And because this is completely the path of the mod, I haven't installed these yet because I want to complete the, uh, certain quests first before going there and then afterwards I'll install these like uh, new these new quest mods they're pretty old by now but um, just continue going through that so what happened in Cyrodiil? I accepted a position as a professor in name only I have no intention of instructing novices who are but intellectual minnows in a crowded pond Melon, uh, welcome to the stream. As such as it is, just casual and boring, and it is some um, interesting NPCs. And um, I have never seen this particular one before, so I'm going through the options. And um, by the way, Jizarko is really annoying me because he keeps on wandering in view, and sometimes he'll knock me out of the conversations. So I think. Shortly after this, I think I'm going to trade him in with for Inigo, because at least Inigo has a modicum of intelligence. You seek power, but I'm curious as to what end. There are prophecies written in the writings of Shalador, in the sun of libraries in the house of Tavani, on the lips of fishwives and old maids. They tell of a great reckoning, the return of ancient magics. Born to darkness, and sworn to darkness. Powerful spells that can fail the day itself. Some believe that it is my ultimate wish to watch daylight die. Yet I have no interest in a world without light. My crops, for one, would not survive the week. Wow, so what is your ultimate goal then, huh? The will of the Radiant Dark is clear and simple. To progress the field of magic. Only through power can we send to our rightful place as stewards of this world. And when it arrives, when we spread our tendrils across Tamriel, it will not be a reckoning. It will be an awakening. Pivot in time. I imagine you will be there to witness it. The only question is, 
On which side? Well, I prefer, per personally, I prefer um, a band of, all right, let's see, band of a rogue, power hungry mages, nope. I want to be part of it. Well, I'm. You got me uh, curious. Whatever side has the best food, also gold. Yeah, there's that as well. <clears throat> be on the side of justice for uh, reasonable arguments. Well, yeah, he's he's kind of like yeah, but just like him, I'd prefer to be a fence walker, going in between them, in between the two. So on the side of justice. Then you will be forced to play both sides, as each will raise the banner of justice for their cause. Uh, I am inclined to believe, however, that we will be on opposite sides. Those who espouse simple ideology cannot see the merits of our justice. Okay. Sure, I'll watch over you. Thanks for the talk. <laughs> Wow. That was, that was, uh, deep. That was deep. But meaningful and made perfect sense, actually. <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of Jizargo because he really is annoying. My German said that. He hasn't been that annoying lately. So maybe I'll keep him for a little longer. I'll just continue to... Uh... Continue to move for a while with him. And then if he starts knocking me off ledges, that's going to be the final straw. <laughs> he normally does that. Um, I actually have some thunderstorms and there's some lightning here, so uh, if I get unexpectedly hit from a lightning bolt, the chances are he'll do me in. Can't see for this rain. Just uh, casually going through. It's not as it's not as bad. Okay, let me <laughs> let me see. I guarantee you, I'm I'm actually very curious about what. Oh God, no! What did I do? <laughs> I accidentally pressed the uh, quick load and um, I, I meant I meant to press the uh, quick save but I pressed the quick load instead and so it loaded up this particular one but anyway I was just saying that I'm very curious to see because uh, the lightning mod has um, It has a setting where it's um, insane, and I can guarantee you it's going to crash Skyrim, but I'm prepared for that, just in case, because I'll just load it up again. Because you've absolutely got to see this. Um, where is it? Storm Lightning. And then you have the presets. Let's go. Let's go for insane. <laughs> Are you crazy? Yes. So just to see what it would be like, I guess. But it probably won't be implemented in quite some time because uh, some of the areas. This is not actually a proper thunderstorm for a 
to do it, but uh, I know that when I tried this before, the lightning was like all the way through, and it was um, there was no way to avoid it. So way back then, I was a fairly low level mage, and it was uh, one strike lights out or lightning out. was cool. <clears throat> Still going west. I don't know where we're actually going to go. It's just kind of like going to wander west and pretty much see where it takes us for now. very difficult to see in this rain. Can't even see where I'm going hardly. Rhino? Is the Rhino hostile? No, it doesn't appear to be. I didn't even know this. Megalania. Poison. Uh, wow, it looks like he's been eating wolf and mammoth. I didn't even know this. These particular ones existed, so that's that's new on me. All part of the mod, I guess. Inspired alchemist. Okay, so where is he? He's up there. Um, hunger tongue? I'm gonna get more coffee in a minute.
<clears throat> okay, here we go. I got some coffee. I, wanna, I, was I was just thinking on my way like to get some coffee. One of the things I'd like to do is um, to use some of the uh, videos, you know, the live stream videos in particular, as um, some YouTube shorts, because there are certainly some very fine No, not gonna, no, I don't fancy fighting rhinos. But anyway, there are some very fine moments. Some funny moments, some fine moments, some Skyrim bugs. So I figured I'd put them into like little shorts. And for that, I am probably going to start switching to HitFilm video editor. So we've got the giant talking stone giant camp. I don't want to tangle with no giants. Oh god, there's still that fire texture. I don't know why. Let's see what mod that is. FX fire with embers. With embers. Hmm. I'm gonna write that one down, and then see if we can uh, modify it because it's obviously an Conflicting texture. Okay. <coughs> anyway. I don't want to tangle with the weird mammals. Okay. I'm gonna go into our time then, I guess. <clears throat> For the next Are these actually bandits? Yep. For for the next um, the next actual live stream that I do, I don't know when it's going to be because I have a. Uh, 
because I have odd hours this time around. I am going to pursue the backing AI link more than anything else. Weapon shield. Zargo. Uh, Why do you need? What is it? Right. Take that. And also take that. It will be done. Thank you. Is that all? Um. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, for for the next actual stream uh this week it will probably be if all goes well it'll be wednesday because that's my day off but i don't know yet but the actual plan is to use the ai to create events uh like um quests npcs personalities and all of that kind of thing and then implement them in back in because chat gpt and Google Bard, in particular, have some very, very good ideas. I've experimented already and decided, okay, well, this is it. We do it in the live stream, and then that way, the like in the back of my mind, anybody who comes into the script into the stream can sort of give I <clears throat> give ideas. We we'll type out those ideas into the AI and see what it comes up with. So yeah, thought that would be quite interesting since I, AI is uh, becoming the thing. So then after that, we uh, continue to develop it from there. And see what can come up with, because it would be... So that way it would be like a, one of those uh, partially community driven game dev efforts. Last dagger. Um, I'm sure that would be for the Elysium. So it's just an idea that I've been playing around with. It looks like they have uh, quite a small little setup for that. Glass bow of binding. Uh, scroll of firestorm will take those. Yeah, seems like a good idea. You know, it's just one of those things where it becomes... Um, if it can become a regular thing, then there would also be sort of... You know, tutorially in the live stream. And then... Um, because a lot of the times lately... Ouch! A lot of the times lately, I don't seem to have the proper time to do any kind of tutorials. At least not yet. So it can kind of combine the two into one. Stone flower? Oh god. Spiders are annoying. Anyway, that's just, you know, that's just kind of like an idea. So 
so we can cross here. dragon in the background, I'm sure. There it is. There it is. Whoa! God damn! I got caught by the... I, I couldn't escape. I tried to go backward, but it pushed me forward. against the current. Well, that's a, that's a good, good job. Didn't manage to because uh, it's a chest. Anyway, um, bandit thief going to go north, then across. So, uh, yeah. Um, now that, that I, oh, my horse. Okay. Oh, for goodness sake, the dragon followed. And then there's another one up there. Winter Woe, that's the one I got. Right. Hmm. That animation doesn't work. Is meant to be what she's meant to do is she's meant to like when she gets the she absorbs the dragon the dragon soul she's meant to uh sort of kneel and do a little me. sort of prayer thing but for some reason that didn't happen anyway this idea about the ai generated plots and all of that it's going to eventually tie in to what is actually happening with the SGB and backing anathema as part of its um, transformation because there's a lot there's a lot of things happening with you know, as far as the viability of keeping those two 
in their current form. So we will need, it's like a matter of transferring something that's not going to be viable into something that's more viable. You know, like moving into the future. Okay, there's uh, nothing up here. That is the, uh, the base plan, anyway. I don't know how quickly it will all happen, but it's happening in June, regardless. Oh. Might as well go north to this dragon. Okay, it crashed. I knew it would. The, the problem is, um, I know exactly what happened. There was, um, it was a memory leak in certain parts of the map. I don't know which mod is causing it, but I know that there is actually a mod that causes a lot of the uh, crashing. Um, I have a lot of the stability ones available, but we we'll have to go like a deep dive into the actual things themselves. The problem is now is because this is like updated to the anniversary edition if you like. Um, certain things are not quite compatible yet. So we don't know these things until it actually happens. And so I'll go into the logs and see which ones, including the texture uh, thingies, the texture conflicts, and then go from there. Ninety percent of the time, when I actually play through, it does not crash. Do you have that little ten percent that when it does, then it will do the CTD? CTD. Not really a problem. So, probably going to be back at the waterfall, go and get that thieves, bandit thieves thing, and then... I will teleport somewhere else, fast travel somewhere else, save it, and then we'll go from there. I'm only going to stream for another half an hour anyway, because then that'll bring it up to the two two hours. So kind of perfect timing, I guess. Oh, 
did. Okay. So let's do uh, if Frost River ambushed the caravan adventures. Of course, that's like Morthal. Uh, been there. So probably go to um, probably go to the Saber Cap Rock. That's one more Kazgal. Clear down. Electromancy's Lodge. I'm curious about that. Aromancer's Lookout. Curious about that one too. Oh, there's a bug in the map. I want to move to the side, so. Okay, so got a choice here. I can actually go north for more Kazgar, more Kazgar. Going to these kinds of things. Um, hmm. Might as well go up there and see what that's about. All in the name of exploration, right? School Falls, Dwarven. Well, I think, I think, you remember that video I shared with you, Flormore, you know, about the uh, Skyrim followers? It now appears that I'm keeping Jazargo around. So. <laughs> In answer to that particular question, Jazargo for the at least for the default, you know the default followers that they mentioned. I mean, you know, he's a he's a, a good mage, destruction destruction mage. So um, 
Yeah. Cultists. Quite a few cultists lately. Um, I think this is a uh, mod that does that. Okay, now where's my cowardly horse? We were going north. Standing stone ruins. Yeah. See, he runs away. Okay, while they're fighting those, I think uh, I need the saber cat pelts for a quest, so I might as well. What happened to its pelt? You saw that, it disappeared, right? It's not just me. Okay, try this again. Hopefully there shouldn't be any... Uh, more interruptions. More Kazgar. Well, <clears throat> Orc Kin, so might as well just go right on in. Larak. Okay, so this is another area where the tankards are I think I know the mod that's causing that particular thing there. My place is chief. Okay, I'm going to make a note of that. You've got to get these textures right. And the problem is, is when you have certain textures and they conflict, you don't know until you're in the game. So I'm writing the notes in case and I'm sort of going in and... Um, my challenge is to lead my people. Try to fix them. All right. Let's speak to this dude. You were speaking to Larak, Chief of Morkasgur. You're the chief, huh? Yes. I earned the right by slaying my father in single combat. One day, I will have a son who will challenge me when I become too old to lead, and the stronghold will have a new chief. Until then, I alone have the right to have wives and children. It ensures our strength. You know, I kind of agree with the orcs' philosophies, except for the multiple wives thing. But, um, 
you know, in the sense that it's un unlike uh, the only thing that I wouldn't go for is it's like um, usually it's a fight to the death, and I wouldn't want that. It was sort of you know fight me and you defeat me till I'm like a uh, you know pulp, and then I will retire and kind of like do the uh, advisory bit. How do orcs govern themselves? Here we go. The code of Malakath. It is both tradition and law in the strongholds. Break the code, and you must pay for a price. The code is not written anywhere. It is known and carried on by the orcs, and all who live in the strongholds follow it. For an outlander, following is too simple. You do not steal or attack anyone in the stronghold, or be ready to pay in gold or blood. Okay, Zizargo, you you have now officially, you know, get out of the way, damn it. Uh, by the time of the next live stream, Zizargo will now officially be replaced with Inigo. Because I did say sometime when that if he knocks me off a cliff, which by extension is uh, sort of moving me while I'm talking to somebody, he's got to go. Yeah, sorry. Any work to be done in the stronghold? How about a test? Your muscle against mine. The victor gains 100 gold coins from the loser. Okay. This will be good trading. Let's go. Well, come on then. I am not. Oh no, look, Chisargo, stop using spells. This is a bloody brawl. Oh shit! Kill him! Okay. Your crimes offend the code of power. And we demand payment. Choose gold or blood. Over my dead body. Fight Come on. Well. Just... Make sure your corpse is not dishonored. Okay. Go on. Knock me out. Um. Well, he did say challenge, but like bloody Jazargo. Take. Right, that is it. Jazargo uses the spells regardless. He doesn't use the fisticuffs. And so... Jazargo, sorry, but you gotta go. I'm a strict follower of the old traditions. Honor, strength, deeds. Okay. Um, right. I'm going to do this right now. Because, uh... Not going to put up with all of this now. Yeah, oops. <laughs> Thing is, the chief didn't even get up, did he? He kind of just, um, oh yeah, I'll challenge you. And then he sat sipping his orcish ale. Like, what do you do? You know, it's like, come on. And then you beat him up and then Jazargo comes in and nukes him with a fire spell. That's not a fair fight. Um, so... Yeah, maybe he did, but he took a hundred gold from you first. And it just didn't do anything. Because the idea is, is you know, like, um, 
previously, if you, you know, you, he pays, you pay him a hundred, and then if you defeat him, he gives you a hundred back, plus a hundred. Okay. I think we can, um, safely say that Jazargo is going to stay here. And this particular thing, yes, it is a uh, demented Elytra nymph. You can recruit them as a follower and have them aid in combat, but normally this particular thing won't aid in combat, it'll just be like your uh, follower pet. Um, but you have the option to say aid in combat, I don't know what it does because you never use them in outside the context of just being a pet. But by default, it won't actually fight. It'll just sort of sit back and relax. And the depth of field is still there, so I think what I'm going to do is Argo, since you like being so close. Come on. I'll need this one to serve you. I am going to I will show them some of your burn then. Some things. That. That. Uh, it is ready for any traveling. And then I'm going to put this on here. For no other reason than it's for decor. Yes. Let me have a sword as well. You are taking us somewhere warm, Hydra. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Uh, there it is. I think I'm going to take this one as well. Let him keep all the rest. As you will follow. And then... Dwarven sword with his... Like that. So he's either too close if or wanders off. Us, I smell them coming. Hmm? Right. Don't like your home, do you? No, I don't think so. Oh, this is new. Never realized it had this option. You can go wherever you like when you. I understand. Okay. Uh, sorry, dude. Well, if you say so. Good luck out there. You bring a smile to this one's eyes and peace to his heart. Okay, sorry. Then lead on, friend. Have shit that you don't like. Um, if anyone sneaks up on us, I smell them. Hmm? Talk about your home. Uh, where is this room? Hmm? Travel as fast as possible. I understand. Do that fast travel. Okay. Sorry. May I help you, Archmage? 
So let's talk about hmm? home again. This place How is How can I argue with that? That's lucky you don't agree. How many this one serve you? Well, if you say so. Good luck out there. Sorry, Jizago, but you are just, you've become annoying. The, the default, uh, and, you know, the default followers often are. And unfortunately, um, you know, things like Lydia, Jizago, and a few of the other default ones, they lack the actual intelligence. A lot of the new follower mods, like Ori, Recorder, um, Lucien, Mirai, they all have their own kind of like AI personalities. They don't trigger the traps every five seconds. They don't bash into you. That's how it should have been in the first place. But, uh, you know, Bethesda being Bethesda will do these kinds of things. And, um, yeah. So now, I guess we should go to Clifton. Androm Nogak. What? Right, that's Winter Hall for the college. Go and start done that. Um, I'm gonna go here really quickly. I'm there. Just gonna go here really quickly and see what. I still got Meridia Stone, and I think you can replace it. Um, but shortly after this, I am going to, you know, once I've been here, I'm going to end the stream, and then off stream at some point, I will recruit Inigo, going through all of that process myself. Okay, so that's curious, because... Hmm. I could have sworn. Meridia's Beacon. You can't, you can't drop it. This must be a bug. Quest bug. So that's nothing I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I'm freezing my ears off. Could we find someplace warm? Okay. Have to look into that because um, Meridia's stone should not be in the inventory after completing this quest. Should be right here. Quietly now. Ah, okay. Um. Right, in the meantime, this is going to be it. I'm going to end the stream and, um, Maybe I can make this a regular, like, Sunday Skyrim stream, as I had planned before. Uh, it depends, because I don't know half the time what I'm doing now because of the scattered shifts. 
I don't mind, uh, really, because on the one hand it's is a bind, but on the other hand it means that quite often I'll get um, a break in between the week. Like this week it would be Monday and Tuesday and then I have Wednesday off and then working Thursday and Friday and then having weekend off. And next week it would I think it's pretty much the same sort of thing. But I do have Sundays off. So it could be a regular occurrence and then the back in could be kind of like just randomly put on my days off. We'll see. I definitely want to pursue this AI idea. Um, primarily because it would be quite interesting to do, especially if the community starts giving ideas and then we can develop it from there. It would be really cool. You know, the more I think about it, the more it's kind of like, um, I think it would be a lot more fun to get people properly involved and engaged. But... In the meantime, that's it for now.